All right, I hope you are ready for another flying adventure because this weekend's trip is gonna be absolutely spectacular. We'll be flying in our Cessna 210 across the Sierra Nevada mountains at about 15,000 feet from Bakersfield to Mammoth Lakes, California. Now, the great thing about this trip is that you're gonna have a bird's eye view of some spectacular geology along the way. We're gonna be flying you by Mount Whitney, which is the highest peak in the 48 states. You will also get to see a mega volcano and cinder cones and lava flows. You're even gonna get to see a glacial moraine where in the last ice age, the snow just plowed down and carved out the mountain. Now, once we get up to Mammoth, we're gonna be skiing and we'll be running some black diamond runs. Again, the views up there are absolutely spectacular. We'll have some nice accommodations along the way. Good food, good drink, good fun. So Doug is our pilot today. He's also our geologist on board. That's where you'll be getting the education on the geology. My name's Denise Winston and I will be the co-pilot and your host and narrator along the way so buckle up sit back and enjoy the flight well, it looks like a beautiful day for flying we'll have a little bit of a headwind at 15,000 feet Bakersfield Tower Centurion 4 series is ready for takeoff right across on park All right, we are at 14,500 feet, and you can see that I have on oxygen. Basically, if I'm oxygen deprived, I would start getting a headache, maybe a little nauseated. I feel sleepy, cranky, and we don't want to have any of that. All right, so this is Mount Whitney. And what's the peak, Doug? It's about 14,400 feet on this peak in the lower 48 state. It's all being pulled apart, so what's happening is it, it, the, the crust is breaking into sections. These cinder cones is a really good one. These below me here, that you will see a little bit of snow on them. You can see how the lava flowed straight out. Lateral moraines on the side, that's all the rock that the glacier bulldozed out of the icy areas. Where else can you see uh, Mount Whitney from above, cinder cones, lava flows, glacier? As we cross winds in excess of 15 knots, expect turbulence and possible wind shear along first 3,000 feet of runway 27. All right, we made it. About an hour and 15 minutes of flight time. So now it's all about unpacking. Our transportation is coming and then we're gonna to head to town to our condo. Right, nice condo for the weekend. Mammoth Mountain Main Lodge, 45 degrees, bluebird sky. Famous fumarole at Mammoth is uh, a volcanic vent. It's a steam vent. All right, so that was another fantastic day on the mountain here at Mammoth. Loved it. Too bad we have to go home. We don't. Best way to wrap up a long day on the mountain is in a nice warm jacuzzi. We are at Roberto's and we are looking for their signature margarita and their lobster tacos. Let's go check it out. Come on. Signature margarita is going to hit a home run. All right, lobster tacos. So it looks like it's socked in with Thule fog, so we're going to need to do an instrument approach. Valley Caldera. This is where the giant mega volcano was. Boulders, all the boulders, and the stream broke through it. Glacier Marine. Glacial Marine. Uh, Weather always a factor. We're almost home. Three, four, zero, 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 of course, there's service 7, 8, 8, 5, 9. And estimate approaching to Bakersfield DFL. Thumbs up, Doug. We are home and we are safe. And that brings our mammoth flying adventure to a close. Join us next time where we fly across the border, land on dirt strips, and get to pet gray whales in their natural birthing environment. You're even going to get to see where Baja, California is being ripped from the northern American continent, creating a new ocean in our own backyard. We'll see you next time. 
And hey, by the way, feel free to leave us a comment below or ask us a question. We'd love to know that you're out there.